guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tatum Tamia I am the CEO of Anchored Media and the host of the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast in this video we are continuing on with our secrets to success series and today's secret is decisiveness so y'all know we see on the internet all the time where <laughs> a man ask a woman what you want to eat and, oh I don't know what do you want to eat well it's whatever you want to eat I don't know I think I want this and it's just a whole hour log of what are we eating don't nobody know our stomachs are in our backs at this point <laughs> don't be like that when it comes to your business or anything be decisive you have to know what you're doing why you're doing it and decide to do it and I believe that a lack of self-confidence, a lack of trust in God and yourself is what leads a lot of people to be indecisive. But in order for you to really know how something is going to work out, you have to just do it. And I don't know why so many people are afraid to fail. Like we have to just make a decision. And if it's the wrong one, then that's okay. Right? It's, it's okay if the decision that you made was wrong. But the great thing about making decisions and knowing why you made the decision is you're able to get a more informed lesson. For example, when we started building Anchor Media in 2019 is when we became really intentional about just building out this company and being established and known as podcast experts. So I did all the things I knew to do. So I created the sales funnel. We had like a free class. Then that led to a master class, which led to a course. And then of course we have like our podcast events. And so I created that because I wanted to uh, provide something for people at different price points. So I knew why I made the decision, but it ended up not being the best decision because the result was that customers were confused on which one to opt into. So they're like, do I need the course? Should I go to the retreat? Do I need the master class? And then with that, they may just choose the cheaper option. And that negatively impacts our results because what they actually needed was the retreat. But because they didn't know, they chose the cheapest one, which missed an opportunity for us to serve them in the way that they needed to be served. And so what we decided to do is scale back on the offering. So now we have, we're still gonna offer some free stuff because free is always good to just build up that rapport and give people that information and things like that and to get them on the appropriate um buyer's journey that they need to be on but we scale back on our paid offerings because i wanted it to be very clear if you're launching a show you go here if you are growing a show you go there if you're trying to hand over your show because you want it to grow and you want to make money but you don't want to put the time to make that happen then you go there and so this just gives everybody a clear path to the best service that's going to benefit them. And that gets them the results that they want to see with their shows. And that gives us the results that we need to continue to serve more people. And it also gives us the finances that we need because we're able to price things appropriately. So that increased our bottom line. We needed a lot less sales to make our goals. And again, it allows us to be a lot more effective. So that's an example of a decision that didn't work out in the moment, but it gave a specific intel on how to adjust and to be able to see success moving forward. Another example is when I started doing Blessed and Bossed Up and switched the podcast over to this new messaging, I wanted to have a community because I couldn't find like my people, right? I found my business folks, but they didn't understand my faith. I found my faith folks, but they didn't understand my business drive. And so I wanted to create a community where people are able to grow in both their faith and their business. And so I just decided to do it and figured it out. So we started off on Facebook. I think I was processing payments through like something else. It was real janky at first, but I just decided to do it and I went with what I had and figured it out, figured out how to make it better along the way. So I did it and then I realized, mm, I like this, this is a great community, but it's not sustainable. 
I want to get the price down because I think it was like $40 a month at the time. Like I want to get the price down, but I can't get the price down with how much time that I have to put into it. I want to serve more people, but I can't in this capacity. So we switched over to another platform and then I brought Kavaya on as a co-host. So now my responsibilities were cut in half. We were able to lower the price because now we can accommodate more people. We were able to just do a lot more at a lower cost and it worked. Then we've upgraded again now where we have four hosts. We offer something every single week, so much more value, less work for me, and so much more money being made and so many more lives being changed. And so again, I just had to make a decision to start and then improve upon it by experience and by the lessons that I was getting along the way. So if you're that type of person where it's like, okay, I, I want to be more decisive. I'm tired of getting stuck in my head and going back and forth to where I don't make any actions. So here are a couple tips on how you can be a little bit more decisive. The first one is when making a decision, consider all options, all of them. If then, and think about all of those different scenarios. If I do this, then that'll happen. If I do that, then that'll happen. Think about all the risks associated. For me, even aside from business, I, my usual marker is, can I deal with the worst case scenario? If I can, I'm more likely to do it. If I absolutely cannot, I'm not doing it. Even, I don't care how unlikely it is for that to happen, I'm not doing it because I wouldn't I can't go into this knowing that this is a possibility and be okay with it so just consider all of the different options also give yourself time to think before making any decisions don't let anybody rush you into anything give yourself to the time to think things through there are so many people thinking for us in this digital age there are so many avenues for everybody's thoughts and opinions and perspectives to be shared that you don't even have time unless you create it to formulate a thought of your own. So even in general, aside from being decisive, I believe that every person should take time to think. My habit is whenever I'm pulling up somewhere or driving off, if I have time, I just sit and think. Sometimes I just drive wherever I'm going in silence so that I can think. When I'm in my office, I sit and I just gather my thoughts check in with myself, formulate my own opinions, not asking anybody. And that's something that you can do as well as seek wise counsel to protect your decision making. If somebody ain't never started a business before, why are you asking them about should you start your business? If someone has never bought a home before and don't see that as a reality where y'all come from, why are you talking to them about that? That's just unproductive. And what it is is you're opening up the door for them to plant seeds to further feed the doubt or the lack of trust in God or yourself that you have. So seek wise counsel. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. So go to folks with some iron. Just think about your goals and your values. So just understanding where you're at, where you're trying to go, and is this gonna push me towards my goals while maintaining my value? Is this gonna push me away from it? Just again, just thinking it through. And if you want to bounce some ideas off of someone, that's a great thing to do. Just make sure that it's iron sharpening iron and that it's wise counsel. There are certain people even now that I can go to about certain things and they will give me sound decisions. I remember even with this new business that I'm starting with Anchor Media Studios, I was able to call someone I know who's been in this space for like 12 years. And so we met up for lunch and I'm like, hey, what do you, how do I need to go about this? This is what I'm doing. I know my vision and my goals for this new business, but what do you think? What are some lessons that you've learned um, after, by doing this for so many years? Any advice you could give me, point me in the right direction? So I was able to get so much more to think about that I wasn't thinking about before because I simply didn't know by going and speaking to someone who was wise in that area. So the same thing for you, again, make sure you have that wise counsel. So that's it for this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when we post another video.